survive. Right, more steam. I must have more power, you fool. Um. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, well, well. More steam. Go, go, go. Right. Yes, well, it's an interesting stage at the moment. We're nearly there. Um, the the thing we've got the wheels propped off of the driving wheels, and um, it, it does go, especially if you set it to half to ninety degrees. It, it will run, but we're not quite producing enough steam, um, so it runs out. I mean, it will go along the track, but not consistently. So, why is this? Um, well, it's it's quite cold outdoors, and um, of course, it's quite cold outside. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's um, it's a cool day. Might be it could be as much as seven or eight, possibly nine centigrade. Um, so uh, the heat's leak, you know, heat's leaking away pretty quick. It might work better after we've put the. I'll show you. Uh, this is the obviously the boiler mount, and it's the same size as the boiler mount on the Willesco D. Oops, ouch, D16 engine, which I've got. Uh, but the top is currently open. On these posts, there'll be um, uh, a closure for here with a slot in to let the combustion products out. Uh, but also we're going to put some um, asbestos substitute, you know, sort of modern, be quarter inch thick, uh, one plaque, plaque along there and another plaque of it down there. So that'll help to keep the, um, and then a top as I say, so that'll help to keep some heat in. So uh, that would be our next step. Uh, and another priority is here from the uh, steam outlet, from the boiler to the uh, regulator going into the cylinder. We need a steam oiler there, without any shadow of doubt. We've, we've always got to have one of those. There's just enough, it'll just be nice there. Uh, but we've got to make one first. We're firing it up now with, we've taken the side plate off. There's no insulation as yet, but also the burner is really a bit on the small side. And um, as we turn the gas up, you can see the nice little green flames. Uh, I think they are nice little green flames. Um, that burn has had a lot of use and um, might be wearing out a bit if we turn it up too high it will eventually sort of blow off but uh, we'll leave it on that high level see what happens of course we've got no way of knowing what's going on when the side is on we need a nice little mica window or something so that we can see through. Ah, yes. Now how long will it run for? It will slow down and stop. There simply isn't enough steam. The regulator is fully open. The only thing I can do is put the burner up. 
shut the regulator, put the burner on higher within a few seconds and uh, I think that burner is still acceptable in its flame. Let's try again. Regulator fully open, but after, just after a few seconds it stops. Well, now I think we're out of gas. The gas cylinder is empty now. Yes, it is. Right, we'll refill it and try once more. So we'll uh, re refill the tank, light it, and uh, because it's, it's only a very small tank, and because it goes cold. But there's some nice fierce flames. Let's see what that says. And uh, let's see. Because I'm on the wrong side now. That is right in the top of the uh, exhaust. I should have a little starting handle, I think. Oops. Hang on. There we are. Now, how long will it run for? The regulator is fully open now. This is going. Slowing down a bit. The water's still alright, the boiler's about a third full. Because if we could run it at a more modest rate, because we wouldn't need so much steam. But the ratio of the worm drive to the gear here is 30 to 1 so the thing has to whiz around a bit um, and the locomotive doesn't move very fast but I think it's great fun and capable of much improvement it's still running for some time um, I wonder if the worm drive is slightly binding on the wheel might want adjusting. So the next step is to put the insulation in the sides here and the tops. Uh, well we've got the insulators in now and it's uh, boiling and I've warmed the preheated the cylinders. Whoops! Ah! And off it goes. But it's on wooden blocks. So now encouraged I shall put it back on the rails, take away the wood blocks and uh, see what patterns uh, putting it onto 90 degrees. Ah! Whoops! <laughs> oh dear what's happened now? It's come off the rails. I mean, at the very moment of triumph. Uh, it didn't do that before. Well, I'll be blowed. What's the matter with it now? Uh, you had a dislocated wheel. Uh, lock tight is not what it once was. Uh, this is a prototype I hasten to add, but now it's preheated again and let's see. Aha! Oops! Yes, we've epoxied, well actually it was the epoxy that went, the Loctite was fine. So it Loctite the other wheel, only one wheel was driven at first. So let us see. Um, Whoa! 
the idea is to drag it back and see. Hey, look at that. Is there going to be enough steam? Uh, yes, all right, well. Um, bearing in mind, it's indoors. Anyway, it's very promising, it's coming along, I mean, what the hell. And um, it's still got to have the caps on, you see, and then you've got a slot there to let the uh, excess, uh, you know, the combustion products come out the top, uh, and above all the steam oil. Pressure gauge would be useful, but uh, quite expensive, aren't they? But we'll have to bite the bullet, I dare say. I suppose if you could make it go slowly, uh, then it, it would the steam would last longer. You see. Oops. Hmm. Anyway, it's gone dark now. But why should that make any difference? <laughs> Turn off the gas. That's it. Turn off the regulator. Gas is off. It's enough for today. Honour is satisfied.